Check a pro Joe here on the check a pro radio show with a good friend of mine, a pre-qualified home service professional from check a pro it's Adam Greer from easy lift garage doors and more Adam. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, Joe. Uh, how are you doing? I am living the dream. Thank you, my friend. You know, I call on you when questions come in here to the radio show and one has come in and that is what makes a garage door work? And I know what a lot of people are thinking before you answer, because you are the professional, okay? I'm an amateur. You're a professional. <laughs> I know what people are going to say. It's the button, and then it's the garage door <laughs> opener. That's not yes. really exactly the answer, is it? Hey, that is absolutely not the answer. <laughs> um, that's what makes the garage door opener work, for sure. Uh, but that's not what makes the garage door system work. Um, and it is a question that gets answered, gets asked. It doesn't get asked, but it is assumed on how it works a lot. And then we have to try to help people understand why it's not working. Yeah. So and what so, is the major component that actually drives this system? Yeah, it's the springs. And uh, the people say, well, that door it doesn't take anything to lift it. All of a sudden, I can't lift it off the ground. And why is that? You know, and it's that spring. Just imagine the average homeowner version door, 16 by 7, just standard door is weighing in around 170 pounds. Mm. And uh, it, it feels like nothing when you're operating it. And uh, that's because the springs, if you look above the door, you'll see a, a, a coil looking uh, spring in the middle of the door, or sometimes two of them, depending on the manufacturer and install. And uh, that the amount of energy that is in that coil uh, is what's making that door lift or and shut. And so the opener, is only designed, I don't care what brand it is, how big the horsepower is, it is only supposed to guide a working balanced door. So when that spring breaks, the call is always, hey, I tried to open my door today, it goes up about a foot, and it goes back down, it won't, won't open. I tried to open by hand, it won't open. And then we'll, on the phone, hey, if you look above the door, what do you see? And oh, I see a, a, a gap in the, you know, the coil like thing up there, and well, that's a broken spring, so I won't work. Well, it worked yesterday, but it's you see the broken spring, and so um, it's. I understand if you don't know, you don't know. Uh, but that spring is the um, thing that makes it work. And if that's broke or weak and tired, that's that door isn't lifting. And so it's pretty critical. And uh, I have people when you know they'll, they'll oh, yeah, it's been. I can get my opener still open even as of this morning. So I'm going to call you back in a week. And it's like no, that's the other thing is you're you, if that opener for some reason is still lifting that door. You are way overworking that opener and you're taking a chance on destroying your opener as well. Now you're going to, have to get a fit spring and a garage door opener. So leave it alone. If it doesn't work, call a professional and you may be stuck inside and you're panicked. Call for help. You know, there's, you just don't want to do it. You're going to get hurt or you're going to damage things worse than they are. Yeah. I was going to say, Adam, um, it's dangerous. Even if your garage door opener is able to lift that door at all. Right. It could give out because it's not strong enough. It's that, to your point, the garage door opener is to guide that door up and down. You should be able to disconnect the garage door opener with that string, with that rope, with the release. Yeah. And you yeah. should be able to just do this and this if it's balanced well. Correct. And that's another thing. If that thing, if you're straining and you notice and you see that it's straining and it finally gets open, and sometimes this has happened, people, their thinking is, I'll pull the string because something seems wrong with the opener. Mm. And the idea is they're thinking I'm going to go ahead and use it manual so I don't get stuck. But when they pull that string and dis disengage the door from the opener Boom. with that broken spring, that door falls all the way to the ground and anybody and anything underneath it is in big trouble and, uh, and will potentially destroying your door even uh, if it slams all the way to the ground. So if it's straining, just leave it alone, leave it shut. Let us, let us help you through that. Yeah. If you or hear some a, professional. Yeah. If you hear a gunshot go off in your garage, and your yeah. um, kid isn't messing with your gun. I'm kind of joking around. Um, it yeah. could be a spring, right? Because that's a telltale sign. It can go bang. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, that's usually what people describe it as. Sounds like somebody fired a gun in the garage. We couldn't figure it out. We tried to leave this morning, though, and stand open our door. And, uh, and they discovered it's a broken spring. And that's the other thing. People ask, well, when I got home last night from work, it opened up fine and, re and shut, but now it won't. Well, the springs only break when they're under tension. So a spring unwinds on the way open and winds back 
up on the way down. So it's not under tension when it's open. I mean, it has a, a little tension, enough tension to keep the door up, but it's not under full tension. So when that door closes, it's winding back up and back under full pressure. So it breaks when it's closed. You're in the house, you're eating dinner, whatever, and that's when you hear the, the bang. And um, uh, that's that's how they break. Reminds me of that old ad when I was a kid on TV, the Roach Motel. They check in, but they don't check out. They so, can't check out. <laughs> and if you need to check out, you need to check out my friend Adam Greer. If your garage door spring is broken, you got to call him. If Just for maintenance, just call him out. Have him do a tune-up, a lube. Get it ready for the next day of operation because most of us, Adam, you know this, Use the garage door as our front door. We use it all the time. Have them check the roll. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Make sure that you have great nylon rollers. If not, have Adam switch them out. They're not that expensive, are they? No, no. There's that is a big improvement to your door. Uh, we have standard cycle, fifteen thousand cycle rollers, and then we have two hundred thousand uh, cycle rollers. So there's a couple options, uh, but that's a major improvement to your door function, the sound of your door as well. Yeah. Adam, thank you so much for joining me today here on the program. As always, Adam's information is located in the notes of this podcast. So there's no excuse not to have him come out to your home. Once again, Adam, thank you so much. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you.